Hi, I'm Joe with Family Handyman. Sometimes we need a little extra table space, maybe you want to put the kids at it or work on a puzzle. Today I'm going to show you how to build a folding table using this folding hinge bracket. Let's get started. First cut your tabletop to 40 by 40 inches. Next, rip four bottom edge boards at two inches. Cut two inch boards to length, two at 40 inches and two at 36 inches. Next, we're gonna cut the legs, rip eight two and a quarter inch strips from the remaining of the plywood. Rip one board at two and a quarter inches for the mounting blocks and then cut four three inch mounting blocks. Glue the bottom edge boards to the underside of the tabletop, keeping them flush with the leading edge and the sides. Apply a liberal amount of glue to the 40 inch board and nail it to the edge. Keep the 40 inch boards opposite from each other and the 36 inch boards opposite of each other. Next, I'm gonna laminate the legs together. It's taking two three quarter inch pieces of wood, glue them together, gonna to nail them and then fill the nail holes with wood filler, and then after they dry, we're gonna rip an eighth inch off each end. Glue and nail the mounting blocks to the other side of the tabletop. The three inch side of the block should be flush with the inside of the bottom edge board. Leave an inch and a half gap between the top of the block and the adjacent bottom edge board. Use a table saw to trim an eighth inch from both sides of your leg to make a two inch wide leg. Next, trim about a quarter inch from one end of the leg then cut the other end of the leg to 29 and a half inches. Cut a 45 degree angle off each leg. So when you fold the leg, it doesn't bind. Next, I'm gonna round off the corners on my table. This is an optional thing. Uh, you can keep the corners square, draw a uh, four inch radius circle on the edge, and you can cut it off with a jigsaw and then sand it. Or use a, a trim bit with a router and a template. It's nice to round over the edges on the tabletop and the legs. Not necessary, but it gives it a good look and feel. Time to fill all the nail holes with some wood filler. Let it dry completely and sand it with 220 grit sanding. Attach the folding bracket to the legs with a 3 quarter inch pan head screw. It's nice to pre-drill these holes with a 3 30 seconds drill bit. I'm gonna finish this project up with a coat of Wipe-On Poly. I like this brand here. You can make this project any size you'd like. I did this in about three hours. For more plans like this, visit us at familyhandyman.com.